case how are you hope this will find you in good health uh, today we will be going to discuss about the food colors and among the food color we will be looking at the chemistry of the carotenoids so let's start with this one um, when we're talking about the carotenoids these are the widely distributed substances color pigments and uh, it is estimated that uh, earth's annual biomass production of these carotenoids that touching about 100 million tons so a large majority of uh, these pigments that are biosynthesized by some of the land plants ocean algae in high especially in higher plants these carotenoids that are actually present in the chloroplast and th these are masked by the chloroplast in the chloroplast by the more dominant chlorophyll pigments so when these chlorophyll pigment destroy the carotenoids that are visible so in some seasons when chloroplasts decomposes during the plant senescence the yellow orange color of the carotenoids that become evident the most prominent role when we talking about its application into human diets the most prominent role of carotenoid pigments in the diets of humans and some other animals these are related to the vitamin A activity. Some of the vitamin, uh, some of the carotenoids that will have the vitamin A activity. The most important is the carotenoids, especially the beta carotenes that possess the greatest pro vitamin A activity. And why that is, this activity is this activity is due to the presence of beta ion ring we will be looking in the next slide the figure in the next slide about the beta ion ring other commonly consumed carotenoids such as beta carotene beta cryptoxanthins may have also pro vitamin a activity so to have the pro vitamin A activity, what is the prerequisite? That is the existence of the retinoid structure. What does it mean? We have talked about the beta ion ring structure. We will be looking in the next slide. So, the retinoid structure with the beta ion ring in the carotenoid that is essentially required for pro vitamin A activity so look at this the next slide for some of the carotenoids so looking at this one at the top of this one the beta carotene you can see the structure of the beta carotene this one So that have the beta ion on ring. So that have the beta ion on ring. You can see here. This is the beta ion on ring. This one. Again, at the second corner, you can see another beta ion on ring is there. So, the presence of these beta ion on ring that is essentially required for the pro vitamin A activity. So, look at this one all of uh, these carotenoids that have a 
C40 H56. C40 H56. This is the molecular configuration of that. C40 H46. So we can see here various form of the beta carotenoid in the form of the beta carotene, alpha carotene, beta cryptoxanthin, lutein. So what is the striking difference that some of the carotenoids that are oxygenated, for example, beta cryptoxanthin, lutein, these are the oxygenated one. Other carotenoid just we talked about the beta carotene and the alpha uh, carotene that is non-oxygenated type this is non-oxygenated type this is non-oxygenated type so the non-oxygenated type of the uh, carotenoids that are important that have essentially the pro vitamin a activity but when this is oxygenated as in the case of the beta cryptoxanthin and the lutein that is that doesn't have pro vitamin a activity so we can see here uh, that this is the oxygenated same is the case with the lutein this is oxygenated this is oxygenated so beta cryptoxanthin and lutein that will not have the vitamin pro vitamin A uh, activity. Same is the case with the zeaxanthin. Zeaxanthin that is also oxygenated. That have the beta anon ring, but that is oxygenated. We can see here the two oxygen is there. C40 H56 O2. So this will not have the pro vitamin A activity, but all of that will have the coloring activity. So each beta carotene molecule that split at half portion to have the vitamin A activity from where this will cleavage at this point. So at 20, so there will be two molecules each will have pro vitamin a activity same is the case with this one so these are the commonly occurring carotenoids what are the examples for the lutein these are yellow colored pigments that is available in corn marigold zeaxanthin that is available again the yellow color pigment that is available from corn, from saffron, cryptoxanthin again, yellow color carotenoid that is available from corn. So carotene that, that have diversified color, yellow to orange. Some of the carotenoid that can be extracted from the carrots, some of the beta carotenes uh, from carrots that can be extracted, sweet potatoes, Neoxanthin, again it's a yellow color pigment from the green leaves. Capsanthin, it's a red color type of the carotenoid from the red peppers. Vyloxanthin, again it's a yellow color pigment from the green leaves. And Bixin, it's a yellow color type of the carotenoid from the anato seeds. So we have seen that there are various forms of the carotenoids available from the plant source. So these are some other structures. So what you have to remember that the presence of the beta ionine structure, beta ionine structure. This is the beta ionine structure. So that should be available. That should be available. And this is the tape. Along with this beta ion ring, there should be a tail. This is the tail. This is the tail. So, this is the tail. This is the beta ion ring. This is the tail. So, both should be available for the carotenoid molecules. So, these are the neoxanthin. Again, that uh, neoxanthin is an oxygenated type. Capsanthin. 
capsicum available in the capsicum that is again oxygenated rhizoxanthin it's again oxygenated we can see the beta ion on ring that have the oxygenated points that is the oxygenated points dixin it's it's a quite a different kind of the keratinide molecule that divide of the beta ion on ring that doesn't have the beta ion on ring and we can see there is a change in molecular configuration c25 h30 all of the other keratinide we have talked about that have a configuration of c40 h56 but the pexin that is c25 h30 along with the oxygenated o4 so we have talked about uh, for the keratinide that must have the beta keratin uh, beta anion ring and a tail this tail is called as isoprene structure isoprene structure what is this ch2 c then it's a branch ch3 this c is linked to ch double bond ch2 so this isoprene structure that will be available in two forms this is called the head portion and this is called as the tail portion the longer will be the tail portion so these are combined together either by head to tail configuration or tail to tail configuration so when we talk about these can be cleavage at that point in the middle point so there are two configuration either that these are either these are head to tail configuration or tail to tail configuration and at the ends there should be some beta ion on rings so look at this one for example we are looking at the lycopene the, the, you know the lycopene is available is a keratinite that is available in tomatoes so we can see here that this is, has the beta ion on ring on both sides beta ion on ring and in between is the isoprene structure and at that point this is a middle point that becomes cleavage so we have two molecules after the cleavage this is the one molecule and this will be the second molecule this is the second molecule so we have two molecules now so this is the numbering system you can see here this is the first carbon we we have already talked about c40 c40 you can see c20 here and c20 here so it's a c40 compound c40 compound how we can number it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 this will be 16 this will be 17 this will be 18 this will be 19 and this will be 20 same is the case with this one one prime this small this is prime one prime two prime three prime four prime five prime and so on so this is the nomenclature and giving the numbering to the structures so this keratinite have several properties oxidation property antioxidative activity stability during the processing keratinides are easily oxidized because of the large number of conjugated double bonds we can see that there are numerous double bonds there so that are easily oxidized such reaction cause color losses of keratinide in foods and the 
are the major degradation mechanism of concern. Uh, these also have the antioxidant activity because retinoids can be readily oxidized. It is not surprising that they have the antioxidant properties. For example, lycopene is known to be especially efficient to quenching sing singlet oxygen due to this antioxidant activity that is have the beneficial effect on the human health. For example, that have the role in limiting cancer, cataracts, atherosclerosis, and the process of aging. So talking about the stability during processing, catronides are relatively stable during typical storage and handling of most fruits and vegetables. Freezing that causes little changes in the catronide contents. However, blanching is known to influence the level of the catronide. Often blanched plants produce exhibit an apparent increase in catronide contents. This is caused by inactivation of lipoxygenase enzyme which is known to catalyze oxidative decomposition of the catenoids. The loss of soluble constituent into the blanched water or the mild heat treatment traditionally used during blanching may enhance the efficiency of extraction of these kind of the pigments. Some other techniques just as, as the live peeling which is commonly used for sweet potatoes that causes little destruction or isomerization of the catenoids. Thank you for watching. We will be closing our lecture here.